two, three. <laughs> Vamos! Hello, Pharma Life family. Hi. We are back yet again with an exotic oblong fruit. Ooh. Look at it. Oh, Jack, look at how happy this yes. girl is. Hello, exactly. Amanda. It's really beautiful. She's um, been talking about this since the day she arrived two months ago. She's been ago. wanting a jackfruit, and it's been jack starting jackfruit. to smell. Um, a couple of really cool things that, that a lot of people don't know about jackfruit, besides the fact that it's got a lot of fiber in it, so it'll help you poop. It's got a lot of... Beta carotenoids, which is really good for the eyes, a lot of the vitamin A, skin, all that yeah. stuff is good for the skin and the external parts of your body. Um, some really cool things about this, though, is the indigenous, right? The Native American people, the Native American people, when, when they needed to build a house or whatever, TP or whatever home that they were building, as we all know, jackfruit's got a lot of stickiness to it, man. A lot of people don't like this because it's so sticky. You need olive oil and uh, some special oil to get it off your mouth and your hands and all yeah. kinds of stuff. This, the stickiness of this fruit they used to use as a, as a glue to stick, to stick their homes together, whether it was the sticks or the bamboo trunks the or it was the banana leaves, so that it would, and then it would form and harden so that when it rained, and it was absolutely waterproof, the glue in this is waterproof, so then when it hardens and creates sort of a resin, the rain can't get in. Um, and so it was a construction material for the indigenous. But you know, one thing in this country, they, they do have the rubber tree. I'm sure they yes. use that too, the sap oh, of the rubber tree. Absolutely, there are many, many, many things in nature that, you know, that we replicate, but it's very, very hard to actually make it just as good as what nature does. And so jackfruit, again, used as sort of a, a resin for, yeah. for housing and this, construction. Also, this, wait, wait, this latex is going to get all over us as, on that knife and the yes. towel that it's on. It's very yes. latexy. And you, we clean it off with olive oil, any kind of oil. We use olive oil. You right. can kind of get I'm it off. I'm not a professional jackfruit cutter. I'm just exactly. Cutting also, no, also, nobody is. I think most people know that jackfruit was part of you know, juicy fruit, too. I mean, juicy fruit, the, the gum that we used to chew as we were kids. Um, the main ingredient back in the day was from a jackfruit. The flavoring. Um, I don't believe it is anymore. I think it's all chemicals Synthetic. now. But back in the day, this was the main Ooh. ingredient in juicy fruit. Hello. Um, we have numerous of these. We have 10 plus kind on the farm. Right. Really they great. love this elevation, 2,000 feet, and I would have to say within the next two or three years, we'll probably get jackfruits. Oh, God, we have a ridiculous amount on of our trees. trees it's growing the yellow here. part. Here it is. It's true. This is we have jackfruit, and this video is dedicated to Chris, who carried this jackfruit down Diamante for the Pharma Life family. Absolutely. Family. But mainly for you. Yes, because he loves you. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank That's, you. Thank you. He's a member of our family. He's our tech guy. And hey. so, we, Chris, we may have some good news here coming up soon. Why I, next? I just ate that, and that was a, this is a really good jackfruit. Just one out. Woo. This is good stuff. I say? So, so we're getting ready to eat it. There's a lot of fiber in here, and then there are these seeds. And the fruit is sort of around the seed, and that's the part you eat. And so a lot of this is going to get thrown away, because only the yellow part you eat, the white part you don't eat, that's the fiber. And the compost. And obviously the seed. Let me try some of this. If you don't want to keep it raw, too, you can cook the seed, mm -hmm. and it tastes like eggs as well. You boil mm. it in water. Uh -huh. wow. We've never done that all this time. Oh, and it's sprouting. You want to plant some more jackfruit trees? No. Okay. I have about 19. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 19? Jackfruit trees, yeah. Okay. It's one of our top growing. It's a beautiful tree with these dark leaves. It's Farmer cool. Life, that was that was really good. It's that was one of the better... I have to be honest. I'm not a massive jackfruit fan. Jackfruit. I'm really not. I much prefer durians, and we have six durians on the farm, but they're going to take years before they start fruiting. I said you are a jackfruit um, fan. But, mm. but this one's good. This one's really good. Give Tim and Jackson. Heck yeah. One of our guests here, the great Tim. Say hello to Farmer Life family, Tim. Mm -hmm. you love it sticky. Thank you. Second time here. Say hi, Jackson. Yes. Say He's hi. He's a second timer. Hi, Oh, it's gonna be yeah, shot. Absolutely right. I love Jeff fruit so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Caesar. And okay, the, the other fruit on this table is the birba, which is really we all know everybody's awesome favorite that is. fruit. We'll see where I am at. Even, Again, even with the jackfruit sitting here, it remains one of our favorite fruits. A member of the Anona family. It's this. It's um in the same family as the cherimoya. Most of you from California, the United States, you get. You get the cherimoyas. Caesar knows all about that. That's our dog, Caesar. Everyone note that he's looking a lot better than he was two months ago. Absolutely. We found out he's got low thyroid. We're treating it, and now he's he's a sexy dog again. Um, 
But yeah, the, the Biraba, again, the Guanabana, the Cherimoya family, but I would have to say, since in trying all of them, Biraba is the best. It's, the, it's lemon, nature's lemon meringue pie, and we're getting ready to, to cut that open here very, very soon and share it with all the guests, too. So here you go, a little bit of a harvest from the farm of life. Um, the jackfruit was from our next-door neighbor, Eric's tree. No, Diamante. Um, Diamante. Uh, excuse me, Diamante, um, not far from here. So there's a lot of these trees now ripening, so... If should any one of you ever come down to visit us, the possibility of you having a jackfruit could be good. Mm -hmm. No guarantees, but they might, they might, they may very well be here. I'll sniff one out for them. <laughs> okay. Adios. Say bye. Say bye. Adios, Farmer Life family. Much love. We'll see you again soon. This beautiful tree, really is a beautiful tree, is related to jackfruit. This is the bread nut tree. Okay, so. The breadfruit tree is related to jackfruit. Um, we don't have any breadfruit on our farm, but we have a ton of this bread nut. And um, maybe you can see some of the fruit. There's a fruit right there, centered. Um, there's a fruit hanging there, centered. Hmm. Related to the jackfruit. Botanically speaking, related to the jackfruit. The bread nut, you have to cook it to get to the seed, or to eat the seed, or maybe sprout it. And um, I find when we've cooked it, it tastes like cornmeal, like eating tamales. Which I don't mind, because I really love tamales. But wouldn't really trust corn anymore, so here you have the bread nut <laughs> tasting like cornmeal. There's another fruit also related to jackfruit and breadfruit, and that is called marang or tarap. Let's look at one. Okay, people, this is called tarap, um, and it is from like Borneo, Southeast Asia area. But uh, we have this really cool neighbor named Jesse, and he will go onto eBay and all these exotic fruit tree websites and get seeds and bring them to Costa Rica and plant them on his farm and then 10 years later he has fruit. Um, and then we're all like envious because we're like, what is that? So I was at his farm yesterday buying a few funky trees like snake fruit and something that's going to taste like peach, which I happen to miss very much here in Costa Rica. And what else did I get? Oh, another thing. Totally running the blank. Oh, a cherry, a kind of cherry tree. <laughs> which I also very much miss Jerry. So anyway, at his farm, he had a pile of these to wrap. Um, we ate one. Um, I asked if I could bring one back to my family here. We have to return the seeds to him because it's his livelihood to um, grow these and then sell them to people like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a regular customer of his. So to wrap is related to jackfruit, and um, it has... Amanda, can you do the honors? Just basically use your fingers and okay. pull it open, pull it in half. It's it's so ripe right now that it's just gonna. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, and all the fruits really in the center. It's just. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. All the way in there. Yeah, it's all the way in there. Okay. So um, it's not latexy like jackfruit, I don't think. Um, it's a little stinky like durian, but the stinky is in the skin and not in the seed. Um, and then. Websites and folks say that this tastes superior to jackfruit, which I have to say that the jackfruit we just had was for super delicious ones. So. Jackfruit, too. <laughs> What's that? Jackfruit's way better. Uh -huh. <laughs> to me, this is a mild flavored durian, like a cross mm -hmm. of jackfruit and durian. To save all seeds. It has that creamy texture you get is in durian. Mm -hmm. This is the seed bowl. That's the seed bowl. But more of a jackfruit flavor? Yeah? Yeah, it's flavor? very neutral. It's kind of creamy, though. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's like either of them. It's its own. <laughs> it's its own thing. They are usually. Actually, one website described it as creamy bananas. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. It's like a custardy. Custardy bananas? Mm-hmm. Mm. I get the jackfruit What's it called? Tarap. T-A-R-A-P. Mm. Or marang. Go ahead. <laughs> Your fingers are going to be on film to right. handle it. Yes. <laughs> I need to sign a waiver. Our mm -hmm. marang, I think M-A-R-A-N-G. I'll have one more. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Is it like a cousin of the jackfruit? Mm-hmm. It's like two different textures. You got the outside, then you get closer to the seed, you get the more gelatinous. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. And then Jesse, also not related to jackfruit and to wrap and bread, breadfruit, this is a partially eaten <laughs> dragon fruit. <laughs> He's got some really beautiful dragon fruits. Ours are not doing well, but his are doing great. And go ahead and dive in there. What is the plant? I mean, it looks like you're eating a poppy seed <gasps> yeah. pudding. Oh my gosh. But what it, does the plant look like? Cactus. Ah. Um, it's, this is just a sweet, mild mm. taste. It's quite nice. Kiwi Kiwi-ish. This is so much fun. The um, dragon fruit. Oh can come in colors of red, pink, and yellow on the outside. And you can see that this is a quarter of it. Ooh, it's really so you can see how big it once was. So there we go. Fun with fruit at Farmer Life. <laughs> Woohoo!